firefighters say this was not a huge fire. They were able to extinguish the flames pretty quickly. There was a lot of smoke, however. It apparently started on the second floor in this home, possibly in a room where the boy was trapped. Relatives overcome with emotion, confronted with police tape around the home where just hours earlier, two-year-old Ace Jackson died when fire broke out in his second floor room. His mother and two other relatives were downstairs. Well, chaos broke out and then come out and ran back here trying to get him. And I guess they was overcome with smoke. Firefighters were called to the home about 1130 this morning. They say the fire began on the second floor of the single family house, possibly sparked by a space heater plugged into an extension cord, which may have overheated. And it just burst into flame without much warning. Uh, and the results can be tragic. We don't know for sure that this is the space heater cord, but they're concentrating on it now. The department cautions people not to use extension cords with space heaters. They say the house also had smoke detectors, but they were apparently not working. The people on the first floor may not have even known the fire was in progress until later on. Smoke detector probably would have given them early warning and that could have resulted in a much different outcome here. Jackson's uncle says they are a close family who just lost the boy's grandmother to COVID last month. It was just trying to pull ourselves together to celebrate Christmas. It was going to be hard to celebrate Christmas. Now it probably won't be no more Christmases for us. Ace Jackson would have turned three next month. His mother was also taken to Roseland Hospital in stable condition. Firefighters say they plan to be here in the neighborhood tomorrow distributing smoke detectors. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.